Okay, so I have never filmed before at all and I'm really scared, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna just say five facts about myself before I show my vinyl and CD collection. And FYI, I had laryngitis a couple of days ago, so my voice sounds really weird. Um, so, I've lived in Maine all my life, and you probably can't see out the window because it's too bright, but we've been having, like, on and off snow showers, but it's real- I mean, snow showers. I- maybe I meant to say that, but I think I got that confused with Rachel. Anyways, it's been, like, snowing, then really sunny, and snowy, then really sunny, so anyway, yeah, if you see that, that's what's happening. Uh, second fact, I love to collect vintage things. I, that's why I like records, obviously. And a lot of my records are newer, but I do have a couple old ones. I collect Arizona cans, which I have up on the other side of my room. I might insert a clip of that, but a clip. What am I trying to say? I meant to say a clip. Anyway, so, there's two facts. Three, I really like cats. I watch Doctor Who and Supernatural, and I am a fangirl. Anyway, I'll just get started with this. So, okay, I'm not going to show this vinyl yet because it's one of the cooler ones. Save the best for last, I guess. Um, so, this is the Black Parade album by My Chemical Romance. I will show you the outside here because it's got some pretty cool album art on it. The Skeleton and the Marching Band. This album's actually about cancer. And that's why this guy right here has lost all his hair. And the line, like that red line around there, he's supposed to be going to the Black Parade. Which is essentially the parade where you go when you die in this story album. I guess it's like an album with like a story behind it. So yeah, I think I said that right, but... And then they've got all the people lined up. There's like some city background right here and it looks like an air raid is happening. So yeah, I highly suggest listening to My Chemical Romance if you like rock or hard rock. Their music's very like different and I really like it. So give that album a thumbs up. Give that album. I mean, I give that album a thumbs up. Anyway, if you like this video, give my video a thumbs up. But this is gonna be a long video, so yeah. Um, Melanie Martinez is a newer artist. She was on The Voice and then got eliminated. But she's one of the few people on The Voice to be really successful after they got eliminated. And she was only 16 when she was on The Voice. But anyway, this is the inside of the album. And here's the back. I forgot to mention my favorite MCR song, but honestly, there's too many to choose from. So for this album, my favorite song is Milk and Cookies because I really like the chorus on it and her music's very different. It's all themed on this character called Crybaby. I will show you the booklet that comes along with it. She has a little booklet about the character Crybaby and it looks like this when you open it. It's got like the story about her and she's basically this little girl that goes through all these like tragedies and then she becomes like crazy and that's what her whole album's about and therefore why it's called Crybaby. So yeah, listen to her. She's amazing and her style is awesome. I honestly wish I could pull off her style. <clears throat> Next album is Badlands by Halsey. Um. Her album's pretty new too. Both her and Melanie Martinez, I think both of their albums came out in 2015. Here is the inside. But there's something special about this album, which I'll show you in a minute. My favorite song on here is probably either Haunting or Control, which are kind of spooky songs, but they're really good. And uh, the vinyl in this is pink. It's really pretty. I didn't even know when I bought it. I thought it was just a regular like vinyl and I thought it was just going to be black and then I opened it when after I bought it and I was like, wow, a color. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay, next. Marina and the Diamonds. I think my favorite song on this album, hmm, there's so many to choose from, but maybe the song Fruit. I don't know. I listen to a lot of her other albums a lot more than Fruit, 
but I do really like fruit too and it's like cool looking on the back the way they had it but fruit is the second song on this album next one is misadventures by pierce the veil um my favorite song on this is oh, uh, I have my hand on the wrong thing where to go is number four floral and fading and this is a white vinyl i i obsessed with collecting vinyl i think I probably have like over a hundred dollars in vinyl right here because vinyl is expensive. It's like twenty dollars, like um, an album, unless you get like vintage vinyl. I don't really listen to Electra Light Orchestra, but um, this was my dad's. Well, it still is. I've stolen it from him. <laughs> um. Jimi Hendrix album, which I don't listen to him a lot either, but once again, my dad's. Um, Lana Del Rey, her um, Born to Die, or Paradise, Born to Die, they have like a version of it where they have the Born to Die album and the Paradise together, but this is just the Paradise. And I think my favorite song on this is either Gods and Monsters or Body Electric, which are both on the back there. I suggest you check her out. She's got like a style that sounds like, I don't even know from what time era, but it definitely sounds like vintage and her music is really cool. So go check that out. I have another one of her vinyls, which is Ultraviolence. And I think my, I know this is gonna sound ridiculous, but my favorite song on this vinyl is Ultraviolence. I'm so basic. Um, here is another My Chemical Romance album. I brought you my bullets. I don't think I could really pick a favorite song from this because I have like, I've listened to it multiple times but never even paid attention to like which song is playing at which point because like on a record player, it's not like a CD where it shows up across the thing and tells you like, oh, it's playing this song. So I don't really know. And this album, I have not listened to as much as any of their other albums. It's their, I believe it's their first album, but they might have released EPs before this, but I don't think they did. Um, here is a Led Zeppelin album. I do listen to Led Zeppelin sometimes, but I don't think I know them enough to be able to say I'm like a huge fan or pick a song. They have this thing that comes out and it's supposed to turn, so like those holes in it, so you can like see it, but it was my dad's and his sister's when they were a kid and they uh, spun it around so much that they broke it. So it can be fixed. There's like a hole for the pin in the middle, but I have vintage Disney vinyls. So um, here it is. This is the Walt Disney's Happiest Songs. And on the back, this just has like the names of the people that did the songs in the Disney movie, but um, here is a row of the different shows. This is going to be backwards in the film. But anyways, hmm, let's see. I think the Alice in Wonderland. I'm just going to go with that song for my favorite because I love Alice in Wonderland and I think it's really cool. I have another Disney vinyl. Um, Walt Disney's Merriest Songs. And it's got Alice on the front and Tigger and Winnie the Pooh. Honestly, I had no clue that Winnie the Pooh had been like out for this long. Cause on the back of this, um, this vinyl, it says that this is from 1968. I had no idea Winnie the Pooh had been out that long. Like I, I probably like stupid and like everyone knows that, but like I had no idea. Same with like Alice in Wonderland. Like, 1968, like, I had no clue. I have that vinyl I put aside that I would like to show you. It is a Pierce the Veil vinyl of Collide with the Sky. My favorite song on here is, there's no like, back thing to show you, but it's King for a Day. Here is the front and here's the back. This is a limited edition to 2000 copies, so I thought it was pretty cool that I got one. And it was only like $17, so I was like, no, 
for a colored vinyl and it being a vinyl, that's a pretty good deal. So Pierce the Veil is like my second favorite band behind My Chemical Romance. And I would really go check them out if you like like hardcore rock. And some of their music's more like they do some um, like electropop bits in their music with some of it, but I checked that out because they're really, really good band and I really, really like them. I'm actually trying to get tickets to their concert, but I'm broke because, you know, spent all my money on vinyls. <laughs> no, it's more of the fact that I just spent all my money and I don't know if my parents will take me for my birthday, so we'll find out. Um, CDs. Okay, I'll move my CDs over here. So, first one. My Chemical Romance, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. I think my favorite song on here is, hmm, where is it? I can't find it. Um, The Jet Set Life is Going to Kill You, that was the one. That one, and I also like it's not a fashion statement, it's a death wish. I know it sounds dark, but like emo trinity, <laughs> um, so funny. Um, Sleeping with Siren CD. Um, I think my favorite song on here is probably Low. Sleeping with Sirens is a bit like Pierce the Veil, and actually, um, my favorite song on the album Collide with the Sky is um, done with a singer from Sleeping with Sirens. He has like a really high voice, but it sounds really cool. Also, if you can see on here, there's like a feather on the front of it. Um, yeah, go listen to Sleeping With Sirens. They're a good band. Listen to them. Um, <laughs> really old Selena Gomez CD from when I was like nine. Pretty Odd, Panic at the Disco. Pretty Odd is their first album and the whole band was together. Now it's just Brendan Urie, Tear. Um, I think my favorite song on this is Nine in the Afternoon and When the Day Met the Night. These are really like old sounding songs and they're really cool and I would highly suggest to listen to Panic at the Disco because you might have even heard some of their songs on the radio. They play their song Victorious on the radio and um, their song I Write Sins Not Tragedies so check them out. Melanie Martinez album on CD. The Gorillas. So I would say the Gorillas are like this band um, full of like multiple people. They probably have hundreds of people that worked on this album. And since they had like a hundred people that worked on this album when they do shows, they can't just have a hundred people get up and do this. So they have these fictional characters that they put on screens um, in the dark. So they make it look like those fictional characters are up there on stage. And that's so cool. This album came out like in the 90s, but it doesn't sound like it. It was so like futuristic for the time. Um, <clears throat> My Chemical Romance CD, the, one of the ones I've already talked about. Dead Mouse, which is like electronic music. Um, it has some vocals in it, but some of them are instrumental, but listen to them. They're cool. Another Panic at the Disco album, um, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. I think my favorite song on this is I Write Sins Not Tragedies because that was one of the first songs I started listening to. I started listening to like all their songs that were really basic that everyone knows at first and then I like actually thoroughly listened to their albums within the past two years and actually really got into Panic at the Disco. So. A lot of these why I sound so basic when I'm talking about these songs is because like I started listening to those songs before I listened to the whole album. Um, Danger Days. So Danger Days is one of my Chemical Romance albums that tells a story about this place and um, it's talking about basically this like government that's like taking over like the place they live in and the killjoys which are um each member it's um party poison fun ghoul oh why can't i remember the others names right now like i'm having a brain fart a 
brain fart. Okay. But, um, something really cool about this is that I have the graphic novel that goes along with the CD. Which, they don't come together, obviously. I think this came out after the CD. Um, but it's a graphic novel about, like, basically continued after the Killjoys die and what happens. So that's cool that they, like, made an actual story of it and the lead singer, um, wrote it. So that's even cooler. Another Sleeping With Siren CDs. These are all, um... Not instrumental, what is the word? Acoustic. They're all acoustic and my favorite song on here is I think either Stomach Tied in Knots or Roger Rabbit. Um, Badlands by Halsey, the CD. Marina and the Diamonds, the Family Jewels. My favorite song on here is I Am Not a Robot or 17. This is one of her earlier albums, but I think it might be my favorite one of her albums. She has a lot of really cool songs in there. So, uh, yeah. And a Selena Gomez CD from, again, when I was like nine. Um, so yeah, I'm really new to YouTube, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to me. Tell your friends about my new channel because honestly, like, I feel like no one's going to be watching and I'm just talking to a camera. But if you like this, then I'll do more videos. Thanks. Bye. Oh, my God. I forgot to introduce who I was the entire video. Okay, so I'm not really sure about my channel name right now. But I think I'm going to go by my middle name on this channel just because my name's Emma. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are named Emma, so I feel like I'm gonna name my channel something with Rose. Ironically, I have roses all over my shirt. So, um, yeah, please subscribe and like and bye!